A medical facility in northeastern Pennsylvania that hadn't delivered babies in more than a decade has welcomed nearly two dozen and counting this fall. The births are happening again at a hospital that was founded in the late 19th century. Eyewitness News health beat reporter Mark Hiller took a tour of the birthing center. Mark? Gaddis, the former Scranton CMC, closed its maternity ward in 2007. When Geisinger took over that facility five years later, it aimed to reopen the labor and delivery center. And it's done so with a major investment and a different approach than what previously existed there. I'm starting to feel a little bit of the pelvic pressure, things like that. Less than three weeks until her due date, 26-year-old first-time mom-to-be Jackie Compton is feeling one of those life-coming full-circle moments. Well, I was born here at CMC, and being able to have my baby here is so exciting to me. The birth will happen at Geisinger CMC, which had its own delivery last month, opening a $15 million renovated childbirth center. So this is our newborn nursery. A lot of the supplies in here were donated from the Children's Miracle Network fundraising. The nursery features such key equipment as baby warmers. A hydrotherapy tub can be wheeled into one of the eight birthing rooms, providing moms to be with labor support, pain control, and relaxation. It all fits into the birthing center's delivery model, a midwifery program featuring certified nurse midwives who lead the way in low risk pregnancies. We cater to Jackie's and moms like her who, who want the low intervention and just a normal, healthy, and happy. Birth experience and especially for it to be more naturally based has been really exciting for me. I'm hoping to stay more with a natural birth. That's what Kayla Stair and Joey Donovan of Wilkesbury Township did when they welcomed a daughter, Jayla, on October 13th. The center's first delivery happened in a birthing room featuring a state of the art patient bed and even a pull out bed for a loved one to make the experience more home like. Part of keeping mom to be feel at home is keeping some of the technical equipment out of sight until it's absolutely needed. That's why drawers in this cabinet slide out, and this one opens up to review more equipment. The goal? Comfort combined with complete success. There's a lot of great evidence to show that midwifery care and labor and delivery provides better outcomes for mom and babies. To be given those options here and knowing that they'll stay with my birth plan is, is really encouraging. Also on the third floor of Geisinger CMC's new birthing center are two operating rooms in case a C-section or some other emergency arises. While the hospital does not have a NICU, Geisinger can rely on its Wyoming Valley location near Wilkesbury if necessary. With the help beat, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.